Hi there, I just wanted to show you a couple of two or three tips or tricks that I wanted to pass along to you. I just taught a um, Photoshop CS6 class and we did a few commands of working with the new crop tool and I showed the students some commands to make a composite layer of everything that you have in your layers panel and it composited into a single layer and there's kind of a four key shortcut that you have to do from the keyboard to do that but I want to show you an automated way to do that maybe to shorten it down to maybe one keystroke instead of holding it full down like four keys first of all the first thing I want to show you here is I have a two layer document here I have a type layer and I have of course my background layer here uh, I'm going to convert my background layer into a regular layer. I'm just going to double click on it. I'm just going to click OK. So now you see it's called layer zero. Now what I want to do is I actually would like to have a layer that's a combination of all my layers. That is, I want to have a single layer that has the text and the uh, jet on it. So what I would normally do, quote unquote normally, is I would go on a Mac, I would go shift option command and E and on Windows I would go sh uh, shift control alt E shift option command E or shift control alt E and I ask the students to remember that by remember E for everything so when I do that I now have a composite layer over here in my layers menu I still retain the capability to work on these other layers because it hasn't flattened those. It's just taken the um, visible layers and merged them into a sing single layer so I can continue to work with that. Now, I couldn't find a just a single shortcut to go ahead and do that. So I wanted to show you a, maybe a one way to simplify this if you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw away that composite layer and I'm going to go over to my Windows menu and I'm going to bring up actions. Actions are a set of steps that you just click a button or a keystroke or in the actions panel pick the action and it automatically does it for you. So I thought well I'll just record a new action with those same keystrokes. So to build a new action you just come down here and you click on the new action icon. I'm going to name this um, composite and I'm going to give it a uh, keyboard shortcut. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to give it a keyboard shortcut, we'll say of F1. And I'm going to have it so I have to hold down the shift key and hit F1 for this to work. And I'm going to give it a color just so you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and record it. And really the only thing I'm going to do is go shift option command E or shift control alt E that made my composite layer. Now I'm going to come back to the actions panel here in the lower left and I'm just going to click on to stop that recording. So now that's done. I mean that is all I had to do. So now if I want to make a composite of all the layers within this document I can go shift F1 and it's done. And so that's a little bit easier than me trying to hold down four keys. I just hold down shift and hit F1 and it goes ahead and makes this composite layer. A couple other things I wanted to show you we kind of talked about in class was the crop tool. I'm going to click on the crop tool over here. I'm in CS6. So it's kind of a little bit different crop tool than we're used to. I'm actually going to click once to activate the crop. I just clicked on the picture and now I see this rule of thirds overlay. And you know, if you work in photography, you know you're trying to position uh, your main emphasis item or the point of interest at maybe an intersection of one of these thirds. So the rule of thirds is just kind of guiding me so as I crop this, I can kind of position what I want to have my point of interest in and have it intersect in these thirds. Now I'm going to pull that back a little bit. Whoop, missed it, sorry. And in fact, I'll just go up to the top of the screen and pick undo. There's a little undo arrow here in CS6. And if I go to the options bar on top, you see it says rule of thirds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick, we'll say, uh, grid. And then I have diagonal, another way to look at the rule of thirds. 
uh, a triangle, um, I have a golden ratio, and I also have what I prefer to use most of the time is the golden spiral. And this spiral here spins out and this is where I should put my item of point of interest right on that spiral if I can when I'm uh, cropping something so I'll can do that kind of like that right there now I'm going to undo that now what if my point of interest is not in the lower right corner well what I can do is I can hold down the shift key and hit O for overlay and what that does, that cycles the position of this golden spiral around to the different corners on my screen. In fact, if you do it again, there's what I call the regular spiral, which you're seeing now. And when I do it again, it goes to what's called, I call a compressed golden spiral. See how it's squished down here? That's the default. So I just wanted you to know how to a turn on those overlays or, or go through them and a and b how to switch their positions if they have that function built into them not every one of the overlays has that function i'm going to click my check mark to approve this crop and just as a little side trip uh, just another little tip if you want to make a new layer and you want the layer to be below all the layers in your document what you can do is you can come down to the panel menu on the bottom where there's a little new layer icon and you can hold down your control or command key and click and that will always make the new layer uh, blank layer right below all your layers so it's just a, a nice way if you need a layer below everything instead of on top of everything you can hold down your control or command key